almost a, a perfect day for Kent today. Yeah, it was a good day. I still think um, you know we could have bowled him out a lot cheaper. Um, you know, we spoke this year a lot about being honest and things like that. And still, our catching has just probably let us down a little bit there. I think the difference to bowling about for 260 to 150 was them catches. Um, you know, but if you would have said at the start of the day when we lost the toss and we're fielding, you're going to score 200, bowl about for 260 and be none for 120 at the end of play, you know, I would have beat your hand off of that. So, yeah, quite a good day. Because yeah, originally it looked like a good wicket to win the toss and bat first on, but was there a little bit more movement early on than you were expecting? Um, no, I think any time you, know, you win the toss and bat, you've got to expect a little bit of something on the first morning um, of a four-day game. Um, you know, credit to the groundsman, you know, there's a lot of talk around the country about pitches and, you know, too flat and all that. If this goes four days with weather one, I think you'll see a result, and that's proper cricket, you know what I mean? Um, if the two batters have showed that if you put your head down, you know, you can score runs. Um, I think we're quite fortunate in a lot of ways. We had a few cheap wickets with their lads. Um, but, you know, to lose Coles, it was a bit of a blow, but it just meant that a few of us other had to, you know, do a better job, and, and we did do that. And to to bowl them out like we did after tea and then finish none for 120 was a massive bonus. For yourself, continue doing your form from last week. How are you enjoying this, this, this start to the new season, a new lease of life for you in Championship cricket? Uh, yeah, definitely. I was very disappointed last year to play the amount of Championship cricket that I did. I know it identified uh, one day cricket as the sort of role for me, but four day cricket still, I enjoy four day cricket more than any other form. Um, you know, so I'd spoke about that and I'd gone away and addressed a few things that I thought I need to work on in the winter and come back and you know just yeah just and I think these sort of pitches help me as well instead of the green seamers um, so you know a good start I'm happy with where I'm at. Definitely and you mentioned Matt Coles how, how is he feeling in the dressing room at the moment? Coles would have bowled this afternoon if you let him um, you know I think he was quite sore and shocked when it happened he thought he'd done something pretty serious but they're going to wait I think and get it scanned and find out what it is but hopefully it's nothing too serious because he's a big part of this side and you know, to lose him would be a big blow at this time of year, um, but um, you know, we won't know till Tuesday. Okay, was it foot? Yeah, his foot, yeah. Okay, no worries. Yeah. And, th and then of course, as you say, the batsmen coming in, Tom Latham and Daniel Bell Drummond, perfect start, especially for Tom and for Daniel's continuous form. Yeah, I think any time, no matter who you are, you know, the colour of play you are, when you're coming to a new side, the most important thing is to start well. Tom's settled in brilliantly, you know, he's going to be great for this group of players. Um, He's brought a lot of energy even on the field today, he brought a lot of energy and you know to show his class, I've known Tom since he was 17 years old from playing cricket uh, up in Durham, he was a part of an exchange when I was up there and then I played with him for three years in New Zealand, um, I knew how good a player he was, I followed his career closely from playing with him for so long and you know hopefully he can show people of Kent just how good a player he is.